morning and welcome to another Monday morning art talk. It's actually uh, almost evening, but we'll pretend it's Monday morning. So you're hearing this for the first time here. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was tapping into um, value of artwork in this weird sort of way. This is, it was very interesting to me, this uh, thing that I'm going to tell you. So what happened? I have a cousin um, or, you know, relative through marriage. And this guy, his name's Patrick. He's uh, just, uh, you know, super great guy. And he's, um, he's, he's an artist. He likes to, you know, he likes to paint. He's an interior decorator. He does just, I mean, he can take any sort of building and just make a great interior decoration of it. So he's done that for many years. That's what he was doing uh, for a long time, for most of his life. And so, but he liked painting too. So he started painting and he was painting and all of a sudden he does this painting and the painting, you know, it, it doesn't get into the draftsmanship aspect where we're talking about his creating the figure and his, you know, doing all this, you know, scenarios. It's more about, it becomes more abstract. It's more of an abstract piece with just art and the colors and vibrant colors and all this. And he told me this story many years ago and I'm just, you know, recalled it just uh, earlier today. I'm thinking, God, that's a great thing to talk about. Um, and so he had done, and he had some friends, so different people, they, they saw his paintings and they said, Hey, that's really great. That's, that's amazing. You know, we really love that. So again, people, art is subjective. Some people are going to like it, your artwork, and some people aren't, you know, there's no, it's hard to say sometimes what's right and wrong. You can't, how do you say whether that's right or that's wrong? It's, it's, it's almost impossible at times because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And that's what it comes down to. And so they saw his artwork and they said, that's great. And they said, how much? And he had never sold his paintings before. And he said, um, I don't know, $500. And they didn't want it because they just said 500. Wow, that's cheap. It became cheap. Now in their mind, the art by saying it was only $500 became cheap in their minds to where they didn't, it wasn't wor as worthwhile to hang on their walls. Now, he's dealing with a lot more wealthier clientele, you know, okay, so that's something, you know, take into consideration. Where's your market? What's the market you're going for? And he's catering to this, um, this, this higher clientele. And so they didn't want to hang something that was only $500 worth on their wall. If they're going to have a painting and someone's going to come in and observe it and see it, and they're going to go, that's a beautiful painting. You know, as snobby as you may think it may be, the reality is people are going to actually be like that and say, you know, this painting was worth $10,000, $15,000. Whoa, wow. Now it's really something. That's, wow, that's something, right? So all of a sudden what happened, he was forced to start charging $10,000, $15,000 for his paintings and people would buy them to hang on his wall because now in their mind, the art had value. So it's, it's very interesting sort of dynamic to think about with the value aspect. If you undercharge, and this is, this holds true in just all the commercial work and everything else that you're going to do, it holds so true that if you undervalue and you tell someone that you're just going to charge them $5, like some of these stupid, ridiculous sites like Fiverr and all that, which I highly am against, and I hope you guys are too, is the reality is it's worthless. It's not, it has no value. It's meaningless. It's just a like five bucks, you know, I'll make that work and where, you know, it's nothing. So people don't have any respect for it and they're not going to respect you as an artist. And the, funnily enough, the more you charge, all of a sudden, it's like an attorney. If you were going to an attorney and the attorney tells you he's just $10 an hour, you're going to be like, what's wrong with this $10 an hour? Jeez, is this guy legit? That's what you think, right? Is this guy legit? Well, that's what people are thinking about when you're charging $10 for your illustration. Is this guy legit? Is this guy a professional? No. But all of a sudden you come back at your rate and you're more and this is going to be $150 and it's going to be, you know, just um, have just a little bit more um, value, adding more monetary value to it. Well, now it's worth something and it's a weird psychology, but it's for real. Because you know too, 
beyond art. Just think beyond art. Think if you went to some sort of street fair and you were looking to, I don't know, maybe you're looking to buy some furniture. Maybe you're looking to buy a bike. Maybe, I mean, you name it, whatever that may be. You go there and all of a sudden the person tells you it's $5 and you're looking at it and you're going, you know, and I, and I, I feel this way oftentimes about furniture or certain products, you know, or an electrical thing. Five bucks, yeesh. Man, that thing's probably gonna break on me or bust really quickly. So uh, I don't know, maybe I'd, I'd rather throw down $50. I think at least maybe it's gonna last a little bit longer. And that's a real psychology and behind all this. I think so it's very true. So you gotta realize that just because something is, if something is cheap, doesn't mean that it's gonna be good. And that's what we've almost been trained all these years to believe. Yeah, we're trying to cut down on prices and everyone's trying to give a bargain and everyone's trying to get something really cheap and inexpensive. We're all looking for deals all across the board, wherever we can, whatever it may be. We're looking just for, for better deals. I, I don't wanna pay $50 for a shirt, I wanna pay $5 for a shirt. But then you realize, you know, what's its purpose? What's the longevity? So you gotta start thinking, if the client truly believes in their product that they're creating, if they truly believe that they want this to be the next best thing, they're gonna pay more money for it. If they are of the mindset where they believe that this is just, they, they don't care and they're not passionate about it and it's like, whatever, I don't really care about it, they're gonna end up paying you know less and be comfortable with that. Um, so that's where you get some people who, um, you know, in my honest opinion, what I've faced is sometimes people have gone cheap on things and they've, I've even been dealt with clients where they've come to me on a, on an instant where they're paying, now all of a sudden they've gone through four or five or six or seven different artists already and now they're coming to me and now they've spent all this money along the way because they were trying to do it in a cheap, effective way. Okay, so they're just getting that artist and that, oh, that artist, they'll just charge me 10 bucks. So whatever happens, I don't care about that artist. You know, they don't even care about their own value of their work. You know, eventually then the client realizes, oh God, you know, I paid 10 bucks for this. It's not that great. And eventually they're paying more and more and more. And then they got to get to that point where, sheesh, if I want quality, I got to pay for it, right? If you want a quality meal, you got to pay for it. You want a quality car, you got to pay for it. You want a quality you name it, you gotta pay for it. So why don't you become the quality person? Why don't you become the person to convince these other people that you are worth something, that if you do, yeah, you are paying a little bit extra and you are paying a little bit more, but I'll tell you what, you're getting what you deserve. I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give you my best, okay? And that's something just to think. And yeah, you may be starting out and you're new in this, but still don't, don't devalue it. Again, go back to, you know, my, my uncle Patrick, you know, just what, what he did. It's, it's the same sort of mentality and the mindset that's happening. It's a crazy psychology behind it, but it's, it's true. And I'm, I, I, I tell you this, um, you know, charge, you always negotiate, you know, people believe in negotiation as, and it, when you negotiate with people, it's a sign of professionalism and that's what people expect all across the board. So never be afraid to negotiate with people. Never be afraid that you're going to be offending someone because everyone knows that's what it's about. And if you are just so willing you know, maybe you get a contract or a deal and you're good with it. So sign it. You're good with it. Everything's cool. You feel great about it. But if not, go back. Um, and you again, you got to be willing to walk away sometimes. That's what's going to happen. But again, it's all about thinking about that value of your work. Try charging more. The psyche will tell people, wow, this is really worth something now. This has value to it. And that's where you want to be in your career, in your life as an artist, entertainer, whatever it is you're doing believe in yourself because it all comes down to the mindset and the belief and the willingness to just, uh, you know, just kind of let things happen. Okay. Just, um, that's, that's the thing that I've really learned. I think the things that I have experienced the most in my life and the lesson that I've learned in my 40, almost three years, my birthday's coming up this month is just to believe. And I think if there's anything that I would say to you guys in parting here is, is just believe. Believe in the process. Believe in yourselves. Believe that things can be possible if you want them to be possible. Um, 
Just because it's difficult doesn't mean it's impossible. All right. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, that's it. All right. So uh, my next class at my Silver Joint Academy at the Art House, the new title Art House that I just am starting is October 19th. And uh, yeah, have fun. All right. Take it easy. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Okay.